Yeah, but we're still okay. Hey yo! My name is Sal, and welcome to Portal Reloaded. It's a portal mod, which basically just came out, right? Gadget? Here we go, good job. Gonna try to start this now. New game. I'm gonna try to speedrun this, because I don't have that much time. Oh, I thought it was in-game already. <laughs> no, it's loading. Of course it's a Portal 2 mod, it of course loads, because it's all engine and stuff. Whatever engine Portal 2 uses, whatever. Hello, test subject. Oh my god, it plays after... Four, five, zero, nine. It plays after you Portal 2. Oh my goodness, it's Portal 2 ending. Welcome to the Aperture Science Long-Term Human Storage Vault. You have been selected to take part in a very special testing. Why are they a posing? Federal regulations require us to inform you that the testing ahead may result in slight cases of sore throat or blurry vision or death. Ah! If you experience any of the aforementioned side effects, please do not hesitate to write them down in your test report. If I experience death? Good luck. Thank you. Oh. I could have always looked around. Ah. Thank you. Welcome to the Enrichment Center. These automated messages will guide you through your test today. The door in front of you is programmed to open in approximately 20 years. The time portal will open and testing will begin in 3, 2, 1. I wait. Welcome to the future. In order to help you distinguish between the present and the future, this part of the enrichment center has been left untouched for the last 20 years. Find a way to exit the chamber. Oh my goodness. Welcome back to the present. If you are ever unsure which timeline you're in, simply observe your environment. The present should always look a bit cleaner than the future. This Aperture Science Test Subject Teleportation Device will dematerialize your body and rematerialize it in the next chamber. This process is absolutely safe. Usually. Oh my. What did I said about speech running? These next chambers will involve cube and button-based testing with the perks of time travel. A cube placed in the present will appear in the same position in the future. Moving a cube in the present will automatically update the location of the same cube in the future. This future version of the cube can be good. Please continue to the next chamber. Understanding the concept of cause and effect will be vital to solving the upcoming tests. Simply put, everything you do in the present has an impact on the future, but not the other way around. I understand. Good thinking. While it is impossible to bring a present cube to the future, this clever trick allows you to have two versions of the same cube in one timeline. Got it. second. I can have two cubes. Come with me. Fuck. If I just even touch it a little, it'll disappear. Okay, uh, how do I solve this with time travel? Doesn't work. I even need. Yeah, the speedrun is nothing. I get it. This doesn't even make any sense timeline wise. Okay. 
Ah, great. Now I got two cubes. I want to stay in the present. How about this? There we go. Timeline wise, it doesn't make any sort of sense. Where the fuck are you? The speed run. Ah, the speed run. I'm good, right? I'm still good, right? Aperture Science proudly presents the Triple Portal Device. This marvelous device will allow you to place three different portals. For now, however, to introduce you to the concept of portals in different timelines, the time portals will be placed for you. A portal placed in the present will appear on the same surface in the future. Okay, cool. A portal placed in the future will not override its existing location in the present. Thinking in four dimensions means not only knowing where to place your portals, but also when. Makes sense. Huh. What am I being tested about? Please ignore that. The decay of this facility over the past 20 years may have caused the destruction of some portal surfaces. Try to find a way around this. But also when I have a place the portals. Oh. Nicely done. What? Take note. Because time portals exist in exactly the same location in both timelines, they can only be placed on surfaces which are intact in both the present and the future. All right. This next chamber will involve the concept of momentum based traveling through portals. You go in fast, you come out fast. Simple enough. In four dimensions. I'm back! Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Fair enough. Touching the material emancipation grills will cause any ordinary portal to fizzle. Time portals are not affected. If a portal closes in the present, it will also close in the future. So think about where and when to pass through them. Fair enough. What? That, that was unfair. This was unfair. This was unfair. I want my money back. I may not act like this, but this hurts my brain. There we go. Okay. Outstanding. Now that you know all the essentials. How about shooting some time portals yeah, yeah. of your own? Up, Ahead of you is the Aperture Science Time Portal Activation Force Field. This field will activate and deactivate your ability to shoot time portals. It will not fizzle your portals or destroy cubes. Alright. Great. The following chamber will combine all the elements you have learned so far. Good luck solving your first test while shooting three different portals. Thank you. How do I look? What the fuck am I? Huh. 
I saw that in the trailer, actually. Why am I doing this? This doesn't matter. Right. Got an idea. I'm smart. Well done. Traveling through a time portal will also transfer your current momentum into the other timeline. Yes, I know. I just learned that. <sighs> My brain is hurting. How does the future look like? Wonderful. You know, they could have used any time, but they chose 20 years into the future. 2041. We. You. I don't think it'll work what I wanna try, but I'm gonna try it anyway. No! He does nothing. That was everything. Everything I ever worked for. Lost. Forgotten. Destroyed. I'm always confused why this one isn't moving when this one's moving. This is 20 years in the future. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. This won't work. This won't work. This won't work. But I wanna do this. But this won't work. I wanna do this. <laughs> okay. Restart. We you There we go. Here we go. Nicely go. done. Now. Let's move on to some more advanced challenges. Mm-hmm. Here we fucking go. What do you want to do? If you are ever unsure where you placed your portals, or where you left the cube in the other timeline, feel free to use the puzzle element indicator switch on your portal device. This will display holographic projections of your portals and cubes in the other timeline. Huh. Okay. Hey, there am I. How does the time end look like here? Well then. What's next? The Quickly make fifth your way dimension? over these turret redemption platforms. Unfortunately, they did not survive their trip to the future. Come to think of it, it's actually quite remarkable that you are still alive. 
It's actually quite remarkable that you are still alive. Second death. Gadget. Put a death counter. Time. Quickly make your uh, way over these turret redemption time. platforms. What's next? Um, they did not survive. Trips to the green the portal, yes. Come to think of it, it's actually quite remarkable. And uh, some more stuff, alive. okay? Your grocery if list. At any point, you are concerned about your odds of survival. Don't be. Remember the test subject teleportation devices at the start of each test section. Should you die at any point during this test, we can simply rearrange the atoms you are made of and put them back together. Oh. Good as new. Oh, wow. Wonderful. This is broke. Is there some kind of platform? No? No, Klee Dockley. Is there something with the third portal? I need to do something with the third portal. I think. Almost. Thinking with three portals, who thought of this? <sighs> right, here you go. Good. In case you were curious, no. We cannot make infinite clones of you. Because of the stupid rules of quantum mechanics. Only once you die can we take your atoms and recreate your body for continued perpetual testing. Oh, great. My timeline. Why? Wow, there isn't even a laser in any timeline. Oh. What am I trying to solve? Past or future? Okay, future I have this here. In future I have this cube. But in the past there's only this laser. Uh, please help me, Gadget. What, uh, what, what was I trying to say? Put it on the screen. Retell it. Thank you. Am I right? Am I right, lad? I said, Am I right? Or am I right, lad? Good.
Uh, it's seriously breaking the fourth wall, like literally. Like the fourth wall is dead. Murder, got murdered. What's the next game? Portal 5. Not only having a uh, going backwards in time, no, you go to an alternate timeline where some shit is different. You know? Or I don't know, you know? Portal 6, what sixth dimension? Sixth dimension. I don't get it. I, I would have said, wait a second, I can place these everywhere. No. It needs to be that sort of timeline shit. Why are you doing this? You know, I'm mad. No, wait. Wait a second. If everything here is solved, since timelines and shit. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. If it's here soft, then it should also be there. But no, that doesn't also not make sense. Uh, I I give up. It's a schedule. Cancel the speech run. Cancel the trophy thing. Cancel everything. Cancel everything. I don't even now remember if I said, Hey, my name is Sev. Not cut this to the beginning now. Hey, uh, my name is Sev. Welcome to Portal Reloaded. Yeah, I actually said it already. Uh, I'm tired. I'm tired in more ways than one. It's 4.30 a.m. AM. I'm right now Illuminati. Hey, ah! I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired. Okay. And don't forget, when we shut up, I'll see you tomorrow.